They're gonna build their own because they're that torqued off about this thing. I think they're price gouging on these and I think they're pieces of junk. Every day is a new adventure and today is no different. We are returning our 5,000 gallon mixed tank. We're gonna be switching that out for a 3,000 gallon. If you're not familiar with who we are, we are Dirt Monkey and uh, we actually love plowing snow. We love removing snow. We haven't had any snow to plow or remove this year, but let me just walk you through some of the stuff that uh, we bought today. In just a minute, we are going to show you the absolute worst purchase that we've ever made, in my opinion, this year for Brian. Are you leaving? No. Oh. Are you done? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So some of the stuff that we use on a regular basis, we've got Arctic pushers. This one is a snow wing sectional pusher our muskox we have not had a chance to bring out yet we've got snow power the short iron back blade has been phenomenal short iron has been a real i mean it's just been a workhorse the arctics we love i mean i think we'd take them home and sleep with them at night if we could we keep our pro tech on on uh, back it's not the, it's not nearly as good as an arctic they tried this is not the worst but here's the thing these are sectional squeegee sections so each section will go up and down with this protect and it does not work because the whole blade does not go up and down not the worst in the moment i'm going to show you the absolute worst thing we've ever bought i'm just going to giving you a little tour of our mud hole down here we have not had any uh any decent weather we've got a boss sprayer snow power we've got a hill tip spreader in the back over here and that does both liquid and brine we're heavy heavy into snow removal um, we've got tim's plow over here he's got a, a heinecker front mount plow tim's got a boss drag pro 180z and then these are the trailers that we use on a regular day-to-day -day basis when we're mixing and, and creating salt we use a We've got our salt skiddy over here. It's rhino lined, which helps keep uh, helps keep it clean and clear. And what what's driving you nuts? I'm trying to think of what it was. This guy. I know there was something that we were complaining Some about. Some we were griping about this summer. I'm like Alex. I don't know. You usually gripe so much through the summer, it's kind of hard to remember <laughs> what the hell. Something may be really good one day, and the next day I hate it, you know? <laughs> I remember. Hey, Alex, when he first came into the... Probably me. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, but you're here. We can't complain about you right now, Luke. You'd have to leave for us to be able to do that. Alex hates new things. Oh, Until he got here, and he started to experience the joy of new things. But we just bought a new thing that is ter a terrible thing. Tim, I, I need you to come in here and talk me through this because you have you hate this more than anything. I only like it because I try to justify the eight hundred dollars we spent on it. Eight hundred dollars we lost on it. Let's go through one of the the not quite as bad things that we hate. And it's not a big thing. This no. one's not a big thing. They're the worst though. The worst. Yeah, these damn safety cans right there. Which it all ends up just leaking out right there, which you can already see. Yep. And then you push this in and then this thing tends to get stuck and then you're pulling it out and it's- I just spraying. watched you dump gasoline all over our- I dumped out a gallon to put a gallon in the machine. Yeah, he dumped out a gallon to put a gallon into this. We lost a gallon. So our brine buddy just got soaked. Or the sidewalk, but sidewalk slayer. Sidewalk, sidewalk slayer. So the uh, inside continues the journey of all of our tools, gear, and equipment. Not the cleanest. This thing is phenomenal. Yeah, the VSI. Just good quality. Just good quality. But we're waiting for the boss to come. Hi, Timmy. What? Timmy, I've heard you complain about this. You want to hear me complain? No, I have heard you complain. What? I heard he calls me up to complain about this. I recall, I oh, me. yes, you do. You're like, we're going to invent a new one. And it's right there. Worst $800 we've spent. Alex influenced me to buy it, too. It's all the time. <laughs> well, we liked it because it had the bigger opening for, so, for some rock salt applications. See that? Look at that opening, right? Yep. So, like, sweet. It's going to fall through there instead of getting 
stuck into this type of opening. So this so, is our original sidewalk spreader. Yep. And this, flip her over once. Let's show these guys how bad this one fell apart. How long How long did we use this one? I wash them every single time, except for when this one broke, I quit one, I threw it away. That's why it's rusty, but we take good care of our sprayers. I, I yeah. wash them every single time. He washes everything after every snow fall. Everything. But this thing is, this is the worst $800 we spent. Yeah. That's so what, we're just, what are you tell me about it? What are you what are you experiencing? Oh, well, you gotta uh, to get to anything. You gotta it. All the time. I see all you doing time. that all the yep. time. It, it, it just puts a little salt bridge, so it needs a little. Unless we didn't get a certain auger part that comes with it, it's just that little cotter. It doesn't oh, agitate geez. it enough. When you put the salt in there and you fill the thing up, the salt is angular, so it kind of packs down. So when the little spinner is going, it creates a oh. cone like that. So then it looks like it's full, but right around that little spinner, there's nothing falling in because that little tiny baby cotter pin isn't doing anything. And and you, we put a bigger cotter pin in there and all it did was just plastic gears inside of there. It just grinded them. And you, Luke, you were just working on it. When I came in, you had this thing all pulled apart. We've had the most, the least amount of snow we've ever had since 1930. One, one. 1931, yeah. 1931. So this thing has not been used and abused and, and beat to heck. It's no. been used five times, maybe. I was going to say four or five times, a handful of times at best. A free wheeling. Could all be. right, so here's the deal. Okay, Tim and right. Alex are Sorry, Luke. Tim and Alex are going to build their own because they're that torqued off about this thing. I think they're price gouging on these, and I think they're pieces of junk. Yep. And I think we could easily combat and come back with a price alternative spreader that has multiple options and variations to there that just make it more effective because that it, nobody wants to spend 800 bucks and nobody wants to carry around a five gallon bucket and cast hand by, or salt by hand. You know? So is it safe to say that that's the worst $800 we've ever spent on something like that? Mm -hmm. Is that also safe to say it's one of the worst investments that we've made for salt equipment? Okay, I would say so. I, I mean, I'm looking at going through everything that we bought. All of our spreaders, all of our plows, our pull plows, our back plows. I, I would think that this kind of tops the cake for the biggest disappointment we've ever had. Yeah, I was excited about this one versus, because I've gone through, this is the second one of these type we went through and it just, uh, there's the other one we used last year. Oh, but that one was just yeah. That's the first. That's the first one. No, I got a blue one somewhere. I don't know where the that Chapin. One. Yeah, yeah, Chapin. I thought that was the one. I thought this was the step for would be better. We bought that one in the beginning of the season. It made it through three storms. Then the leg snapped off, and it was constantly jamming up your finger in the holes on the bottom, and that's why this hole opening there was like, oh, jeez. Yeah, the main hole. Right. Looked a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. For letting the bigger granular pieces of rock salt go through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you can expect stuff to break, but not right away. Oh, right. yeah. I mean, look at all the grease I squirted on there. We've been taking really good care of the soccer. Yeah, grease it wherever you can grease it. Right. I mean, heck, I videotaped the, the very first time we went out and you were fighting it. Yeah. Second time, you went out by yourself once before we yeah. went out. Yep. Yeah, that's been a battle right out of the gate. Did it come with a fancy plastic cover? Mm -hmm. Which don't work. Yeah. What's wrong with the plastic cover? It just well, snaps this over one, the top. It, you either no. got it all the way up or... To cover the top. And the, the there's no in between, you know? There, it's just, you can tighten that up, but it's as tight as it can go, the oh, bolt right there. That has come out. Well, yeah, but it, it holds it all the way open. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do right or there. Or closed, but it's nice when you can yeah. open this slightly a hair. Right, that's just, so then you just don't put them as far. You so you guys don't like the adjustability on the sides either then? I like the adjustability on the sides. I just wish it worked better. Because that's about it right there. Well, yeah, you can go full on or throw, keep it a little bit in there and, you know, but really, and once it's all the way down, it's still, it works. What was the alternative? Wasn't it 
twelve hundred dollars. Wasn't there another one that was a well, little? There's the drop, drop ones. The drop ones are really nice, but you're only casting forty-eight inches. Right. You know? And when you and when you got a wide side, like we we need something that, that casts. Can cast because when you cast twelve mm -hmm. feet and then you hit a pass this way and a pass that way, you're doing two passes total rather than yeah four passes. And we're not we're using the material we're using is actual rock salt in it. We're not using bag salt. Mm -hmm. So do you think if we were using a cleaner material that oh, would? Oh, I bet it would no, run. I did it run a few bags yeah. through there, and, and I it, didn't. I didn't see any difference at all. You're still shaking it. And, oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You all can right. see my few bags that I grabbed from that pallet right there. I grabbed like three or four of them. So yeah, this I'm is sure. this is the stuff you did try to to use in it. Well, not specifically what's in that bag. Oh no, this is the garbage bag. Right, but yeah. So so this is the material though. Right. So you've used both the combination of the rock salt and the, the bag salt. So there it is. There's the worst investment that we've made in uh, for snow plowing. Thankfully, it only costs us $800 and not $28,000 or $40,000 or fifty or sixty dollars or what have you. So I want to hear from you. What is the worst investment that you've made? For this, for us, that's it. The Snow X spreader. And uh, tell these guys to get on the job and go invent a better one because I think that's what they're working on right now. That's going to call it for this one. God bless you guys. Go get them. We'll catch you guys on another one.